What up, homeboys? This is just in. This is just... What, what am I doing? This is just in. Revelation WoW has a level 50 boost in their code. Huge shout out to Miker D in my Discord for sharing me this information. By the way, he has a Twitch. I'm gonna leave that on the description. I don't know if he's actually gonna do this thing live, but I recommend he does because there's gonna be a lot of people that want to see that. Basically, there's this software called the MPQ Editor that allows you to open up the files of World of Warcraft and to see what's inside. Uh, as you know, the custom patches from WoW Revelation are MPQ files. These files are not encrypted. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description to how to get a free software to analyze the MPQ on your own if you want. There's probably a lot more fun things that you can find if you want to scramble upon the code. Anyway, one of the files they found is on the service icons. Uh, they, they have a store apparently. And in that store they found the files for something that's called the boost icon and the level 50 icon. So, you know, what would they possibly sell if they needed those icons as assets in the store? Guys, guys, okay, let's be fair. A lot of the time they do put assets in a client that they don't really use. So this could be that we just data mined a feature that got taken away from the store a long time ago and they are not gonna implement it. But you know... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. On another note, they have also found the music that's in the intro. By the way, there's a 70 megabyte file of 50 minutes of music in the login screen. Like, uh, if you're wondering why the client is so loaded, why the client is 50 gigabytes, why do they need 50 minutes of music for a login screen? Like, at most it's like a 10 minute loop. Like, what kind of game has 50 minutes of music on their login screen? But anyways, uh, I'm also gonna give this in the description. And if you check this out, this is a video that's on sale for assets. Like, you are supposed to pay to use this. Uh, I don't know if they actually paid or not. That would be like good to know if they could address this. Uh, I just hope they didn't just take this and, and put it on the game and didn't pay. That would be that would be weird. Also, the least outrageous of the fines so far because this thing has just been uh, decompiled and analyzed. You know, we only can imagine the things we're gonna find when people dig through their code and files and stuff. There's also been a, a file called streamerrewards.lua. I don't know if you guys know about this, but Chromicraft also did this, that they are probably gonna do some sort of giveaways for the streamers or something like that to like promote the streams and the server. I don't think that's like necessarily something wrong. I don't think it's something to be mad about. Like uh, Chromicraft also does it. And you know what? I am glad Chromicraft is very smart on the promotion of their servers. But anyways, that's just the things that we could find in these very few hours that we were able to scan the thing. And uh, also big shout out to Miker D. Uh, for digging through their code. He's also been hard at work on this part. And... Ah, just stay tuned. Subscribe and stay tuned because we're gonna find more days about it. This is just like the first day.